Hello, good morning. It's just over a week now since my failed 400 kilometer DIY Audax. A lot of viewers asked me about the Garmin problem and I did say I'll try and figure that out when I got home. The first thing really was to get home, recuperate on sleep, sort of do a post-ride assessment. Um, I've just ordered like a load of spare inner tubes and more glueless patches, you know, restocking all my supplies. Today I'm going to try and experiment with the Garmin Edge 130 so I'll try and explain it from a, a non-techie beginner's perspective so anybody who, who understands all the how Garmin's work and the functions this will probably be of no interest whatsoever it's just my attempt at a little bit of problem solving. The problem was then I was navigating on my Garmin 130 it's probably about the eighth outing now since I've just used it as my main form of ride recording and more importantly navigation and up to now it's been fine you get the track that you ride and not every turn but every major turn you get these arrow prompts leading up to it to warn you it's coming that could just be a bend in the road or it could be a right or a left hand turn i didn't have any of that last time on my 400 and to be honest later in the day it caused me a lot of problems it cost me a lot of time and so it's a problem I need to solve. What I've been doing up to now is I've transferred all my old routes from Ride with GPS, that's the platform where I just basically create them and store them, and I've transferred them onto Garmin Connect, and then I've actually transferred them from Garmin Connect wirelessly to my 130 device. Just a quick bit of backstory. I started navigating on the Garmin Edge 200 oh, back in about 2014-15 and there was no options for changing the GPS settings there. You literally just drag and drop to route onto the device via a laptop and a cable and it worked fine and there was no options to change the settings. Well on this one you get a lot more functions. And I've just left it on the default settings up to now, but today I'm going to play around with them and see if it makes any difference. And the other thing with this is you can do things wirelessly. You can upload the routes wirelessly via Garmin Connect, as I've just described. And I, almost, I, and I also sync Garmin Connect with Strava. So when I come home, there's no loading the laptop up, plugging the device in, transferring it over, loading it to Strava. As soon as I finish my ride now, within a couple of minutes, normally it's actually on Strava. It's all done wirelessly. The reason I need to get this navigation issue sorted pretty damn quick is because I'm off on a touring holiday soon and I'm going to be relying on navigation basically to get me around the tour. It's an area of the country I don't know at all, so navigation is going to be crucial. As I said, with the old Edge 200, you just navigated by GPS. It gave you a line and you just followed the line. If the line went right, you went right. If it went left, you went left, straight on, etc. No mapping, just a line. As you turn left, it would then reorientate itself. So you're always heading forwards. It's very, very easy to navigate. And so is this when it's working. But you can see there's some... I'll go through the settings. If you go to System... And then scroll down, you've got position format. And according to the Garmin manual, this is the default setting. So for the time being, I'm leaving the position format in that default setting. If I go back to the main page, if I hold the right hand button down, go to settings, ride settings, choose it with the, that button there and then if I scroll down you'll see the bottom choice is to do with the GPS navigation prompts on that's what I want that's the right hand left hand arrows etc and then you've got this that was the default setting and before the 400 I had no idea what it really meant I now know you've got a choice of settings so this is what I'm going to play around with today if I go into that setting you can see 
there's four options off I obviously don't want that now I'm assuming just GPS is what the Garmin 200 used to use but there's an article I'm going to post a link to that in in the description below and it just it's a beginner's guide to what this all means basically what it's saying as I understand it you can use GPS by itself which is the American system or you can use GPS plus GLONASS which is the American system and the Russian system or you can use GPS plus Galileo Galileo is the European Union system so today I've constructed a, just a simple local urban route I'm going to ride around that circuit twice once with GPS GLONASS which is what I've been using up to now hopefully the problem has rectified itself and if not I'm going to try it with GPS plus Galileo the article suggests GLONASS is better for out in the countryside or mountainous areas GPS plus Galileo is better for urban settings so you can sort of see I may notice a difference I may not just to quickly summarize and hopefully it's not getting too confusing up to now I've been using the Garmin Edge 200 avoiding the Garmin Connect website altogether I've literally just transferred files from ride with gps via usb cable onto my laptop onto my garmin edge 200 for the last eight rides using the new garmin 130 plus version i've been doing it wirelessly through the garmin connect website so i've downloaded that onto my laptop what i didn't realize until i came back from the 400 and i started trying to investigate this problem and look for a solution is there's also a site called garmin express which you upload onto your laptop and that's where you check for updates because my first thought was maybe there was an update i'd missed and that has to be done via a usb cable it cannot be done wirelessly and you plug your device in Garmin Express will recognise it and that then it will decide whether it needs some updates and I did a quick bit of research and there was this guy who seems very well informed was talking about the the Garmin 1030 that's like mine but much more advanced it's got mapping in and tons of other it was a big update firmware update over at Easter but it didn't include the 1030 but that update did not include the 130, my version. And I thought, ah, I wonder maybe if that somehow corrupted my device. So I plugged it in last week to see if there was any firmware or software updates. It scanned my device and said, no, it's up to date. I did the same yesterday and hey ho, there was two software updates. Whether they're connected, I, I've no idea whatsoever. It could purely be a coincidence. So just to slightly confuse the picture i actually have since updated my garmin edge 130 plus with two software updates yesterday anyway now enough talking let's get on with some walking or should i say cycling i'm going to ride around the block a few times and do these two experiments okay the first ride just about to start i've loaded the route in it's picked up the satellite signal i'm riding about a three mile circuit on gps plus GLONASS. Let's see if the prompts have come back. The prompts have come back every time I go to film them they disappear. So I've coming down parallel to this road I just did this circuit round here and the left hand turn, this right hand turn and this left hand turn here have all had the arrow prompts so it's made it really easy to navigate so it looks like the problem solved itself I'm going to carry around the course to see if I spot any difference on a second version of it with the other setting well the problem seems to have resolved itself I've done a twisty turning route along there I couldn't really film it it's probably unwise to do that in traffic I'm now on this sort of pedestrianised area and there'll be a left hand turn just after that bridge I'll try and film that but I've done four turns so far and each one the arrow prompt came up leading up to it talked me down in distance and as I went round it stayed there but the distance disappeared it just stays there for a few seconds after you've done it almost to confirm you've done it I'll try and film that at the next spot as you can see this is pedestrianised so it should be fairly safe to try and film this I'm just about to do a left hand turn then onto that main road there you go prompts reappeared 
that's reassuring. So that's with GPS plus GLONASS, what I have been using. So the problem I had last Wednesday and Thursday seems to have rectified itself. Just to really stress test the guy I'm in, I've actually cut through a housing estate. I know this from when I used to be a postman, so I know it's doable. So I came up a nose through road. It sent me down here. The prompt worked perfectly. Down to this little car parking area. Through this footpath. It's not even cyclable because there's some steps there. And then I'll turn right onto two tunnels. And it's guided me perfectly, which is exactly what I rely on so much when I'm using Garmin. So it appears I'm back to normal. What the problem was, I really don't know. That article does suggest sometimes the detail cuts out because they may be moving satellites, repositioning them or maintenance, and they may be switching over from one unit to a reserve. I just don't know. Or whether it's just a one-off blip, I simply do not know. But I'm very, very pleased it seems back to normal. I'm going to do the second part of this experiment. So I've done, this is GPS plus GLONASS. American plus the Russian system combined. I'm going to go home, record the ride, write a few notes, and then I'm going to ride the second part of the experiment. That's going to be GPS plus Galileo, American system plus the European Union system. See if I notice any difference or whether it's just basically beyond somebody like me, a casual user. I won't attempt to film that. I'll just ride round and give you the thoughts at the end of the second circuit. I'm now back from my roads, washed and shaved, you'll notice. So, really reassuring to know the problem seems to have rectified itself. What the issue was, I don't know. The article suggests, rather than just use GPS by itself, it's best to use it plus one of the other systems. So, I have been using GPS plus GLONASS, without even <laughs> realising it until last week. When I tried the GPS Galileo, everything again went fine all the prompts and everything because it was quite a complex course short but complex i used the main road some cut through streets um, a pedestrianized road uh, a, an off-road cycle path i even weaved through a housing estate up no through roads and through little gaps between the houses it all went fine the difference between the two systems i didn't notice any with the prompts i'm just so glad that they're back the big difference I did notice was with the course alerts. I deliberately went off course on both of the circuits. On the second circuit, GPS plus Galileo, the European Union system, the the alarm alerted me instantly, whereas sometimes there's a delay on GPS plus GLONASS. And the same with when I got back on course. It was never an issue when I had the Garmin Edge 200, but I've noticed it has been since the 130. With GPS plus Galileo, it was an instant course alert. You've gone off course and an instant confirmation that I was back on course. So that was the big difference. I think on reflection, I'm probably going to start setting it to GPS plus Galileo now. Unless I come across any sort of problems, I'll keep you updated obviously with any videos. I'm doing a 200 tomorrow and then hopefully a second attempt at my 400 next week. So hopefully this video is not too technical. I, I Considering I rely on GPS so much, I ought to sort of understand a little bit more about it. But I've always been of that mindset. I don't want to know all the details. I just want... It's like a car, I just want it to get from me from A to B. I don't want to know all the brake horsepower and all that. I really don't. don't. Um, however, I think you do need to know a little bit of maintenance. And this issue with the Garmin has, has forced me to learn a bit about the different systems. Anyway, with that in mind, thanks very much for watching. If you've got this far and not fallen asleep, see you next time.